Viv, can you do a video on suits that will not come back because I do not have the first Barbie collab and I know many people do not have it and also tell everyone to do suits that will not come back and if they are worth it or not. Okay, let's do it. Thank you so much, Viddy, for that video suggestion. If you have any other video suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I have been quarantined for over three weeks now and I am getting kind of bored. Anyway, today I am going to talk about suits that will never, ever, ever return in Love Nikki. I think Viddy's comment was directed towards the Muha event. Love Nikki actually confirmed that Muha will indeed return so if you miss out on the muha collab this time around and are interested in it still in the future you will get your chance again the alphas muha collab so far are the only collabs confirmed to return again now let's count down the top eight events and their suits that will never ever return but before i do be sure to smash that like button for the youtube algorithm if you're feeling generous subscribe and hit the bell icon to join my best squad early squad i always spend the first hour of my video launch reading comments so if you want a response back from me be sure to hit that bell icon and now let's start off at number eight of the countdown and number eight of the countdown of suits that will never ever return, we have Barbie collab number one, which includes space fantasy as well as romantic moment. Both of these suits for me cost a total of 40 40 diamonds, and it's going to vary between players because these two are pavilion events. The event debuted in March 2019 and it celebrated the 60th anniversary of Barbie. This was the first ever collab that Love Nikki received and it was a pleasant surprise. Whenever I tell my friends I play Love Nikki and they ask me what it is, I tell them it's basically Barbie but on your phone. Barbie is truly a fitting collab for Love Nikki. However, the Love Nikki devs confirmed that these two suits are a one-time deal and will never ever return. So people who missed out on this Barbie collab will miss out on this little pupper. I love that he is in a rocket and a spacesuit and bobbing around. You'll also miss out on this beautiful makeup. And in the romantic woman suit, you will be missing out on this really sexy pose as well as this pretty kitty and this giant barbie chair oh and you'll also be missing out on this hair which kind of turned into a meme because it looks like a beehive and number seven for suits that will never ever return is the barbie collab number two the cost for this event for me was 5700 diamonds this one was a little more expensive because it includes three suits number one is a unicorn goddess which includes this original pose as well as this special pose and then there is modern queen which includes this original pose as well as this special pose and then finally it's a like life which includes this itty bitty chicken so unicorn goddess and modern queen are pavilion suits and it's a like life was a pavilion purchase suit one barbie event wasn't enough on september 2019 barbie came back again in love nikki for a round two featuring even better suits in my opinion unfortunately love nikki also confirmed that these three barbie suits will never ever return so if you missed out on this suit you will miss out on this really really cool barbie pose you'll miss out on the barbie logo if you are into that you'll miss out on this rainbow you'll miss out on this face tattoo and you will also miss out on this pretty makeup for the modern queen you will miss out on uh tanner skin makeup this is actually one of my favorite makeups in game because she has a mole on her chin kind of like where i have one right now so i feel like this makeup is so me and then finally for the idyllic life suit you are going to miss out on the chicken and number six for suits that will never return we have hatsune miku collab one which includes kaga mini rin kaga mini len there's also magical mirai 2018 which includes includes one pose and two pose whoa this was the grand prize suit this suit is lit and then we also have magical mirai 2017 which includes this first pose a 
as well as the second pulse. And then finally, Magical Mirai 2016, which includes the original pulse as well as the special pulse. Hasuni Miku originally debuted in the Japanese Miracle Nikki server, then eventually made its way to the Chinese server, and finally, on December 2019, to the Love Nikki global server. This event came as a hell event format, which explains the high diving cost. However, for any Miku fans, this is a must-have. Fun fact, in the former Nikki servers, there is a part 2 of the Hatsune Miku collab featuring Mega Rini, Luka. Since Love Nikki got the first Miku collab, players are speculating that the second Miku collab is just over the horizon. We'll wait and see. But for this Miku collab, if you missed out on it, you will miss out on the 39, 39, 39 cute little Mikus. Aww, you are going to miss out on this giant Miku stage. Cute makeup as well. What I really, really like about this event is this pose right here. I know, surprising, right? I love that it has a special arm pose that's separated from the dress. I think that's so cool. Also, for the grand prize suit, you will be missing out on this giant stage. And this giant stage has Miku's face in the center, which is pretty cool. And number five for suits that will never return is Hatsune Miku Collab 1 Welfare Events, which includes this original Hatsune Miku suit as well as Magical Mirai 2015. Premiering in Love Nikki right after the Miku Hell event was this welfare stamina event. If players didn't get a chance to get any Miku suits in the Expensive Hell event, this was their chance to get two Miku suits completely free. The Hatsune Miku suit was actually extremely easy to get. It's the second Miku suit that proves to be a little bit difficult, especially for beginner or low level players. This second Miku suit is known for having extremely top scoring items, and I just love this original Miku pose because this is her, the original with no like fancy smanshy pose or anything. I actually find myself using her hair a lot. And then number four on suits that will never return is Disney's Frozen Collab Pavilion. For me, this costs 5,850 diamonds. It varies between players because, of course, it is a pavilion. We have the Anna suit, pose number one, including Olaf, so cute. And a pose number two in which she like plays with her braid like that. And then second suit is going to be Elsa and her original pose, as well as Elsa in her special Snow Queen pose. This event debuted in February 2020 and Love Nikki confirmed that this will never ever return. If you missed out on this, you will miss out on sparklies! Animated sparklies! Oh, and also, this collab is the only collab with six star items. As you can see, Elsa Stress is six star. These sparklies are six star. This frozen fractal is a six star item as well. And if you go over to Anna's pose, you'll see some six star items here, such as her dress, such as Olaf, such as this pile of snow. So what does being 6 star mean? Not really, it just means it's extremely rare. It doesn't mean it's like more top scoring or anything. Like I swear, there are 3 star items that are way more top scoring than 5 star items. So it doesn't mean much, it's just for show. If you have the suit, you can just like brag to people, Oh, I have these 6 star items. Number 3 on suits that will never return is Disney's Frozen Collab Recharge Suits, which is approximately $5. And it's going to include Anna's coronation, which includes her original pose as well as her special pose. And then it's also going to include Coronation Elsa, which only has an original pose. These two are the only recharge suits that are said to never return, and it's because it is a part of the Frozen collab. So you miss out on these recharge, you are going to miss out on this amazing dress pose that Anna has. Doesn't this seem sort of like a ripoff because this special pose only has two items? Hmm. But yeah, $5 for two suits, both Anna and Elsa Coronation is not a bad deal. And number two for suits that won't return are the goldfish suits, which cost a total of around 20,000 diamonds. Holy moly. So here are the goldfish girls. It's this one, Miss Goldfish's original pose, as well as Miss Goldfish special pose, including this giant tank. And then there is Goldfish Girl original pose, as well as Goldfish Girl special pose. 
Premiering March 2018, the Goldfish Girls came in an extremely competitive ranking event. For me personally, I spent around 20,000 diamonds on this event. I'm sure there are people who spent a lot less and got both of these suits. And I'm sure there are people who spent a lot more and got both of these suits. If you consider how much 20,000 diamonds is converted into USDs, that's about $300. Because of the extremely high cost and non-guaranteed nature of these suits, players boycott events like these. As of today, we have not had any other ranking events since. Love Nikki did not say the suit will never return, but they need to figure out a way to have the suits come back and not anger the players who already spent $300 worth of diamonds in order to achieve this. Some players are saying it should come back in an extremely difficult crafting event, even more difficult than life time suits. Maybe even have it require real life money to craft. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions on how ranking event suits should return. And then finally, at number one, suit that will never return. Can you guess what it is? It is Banshee Momiji. This is how Banshee Momiji looks like. Wow, so beautiful. I love this long hair and check out this special pose. It is lit! The special pose is a sitting pose which includes an umbrella. So cool. And Maple Enchantress is one of the sexiest makeups out there in my opinion. I love it so much. So Banshee Moon Miji premiered in October 2017 in Love Nikki and it has not returned. And so today it has been almost four years since Banshee Moon Miji debuted. Is it safe to say Banshee will never ever return? Love Nikki actually did not say that Banshee will never return, but players are speculating that, like with the Goldfish Girls, it would anger a lot of player base who already spent $300 worth of diamonds in order to achieve this the first time around. Personally, I wouldn't be upset if Banshee returned. I know of a Love Nikki player with 99% wardrobe, but is having trouble reaching 100% because she doesn't have... And she Momiji. And not finishing the event was something she deeply regretted. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you would like Banshee Momiji to return and how would you like it to return. And that is all for the top 8 event suits that will not return. Of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of suits that are in Love Nikki, there actually aren't that many suits out there that will never return. So it's really just a matter of patience. Suits may return within a few months to over a year. But unfortunately for the collab suits and the ranking suits, it looks like it's not going to return ever. And that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Before I go, be sure to follow my Facebook and my Instagram and my Twitter. I am super active on social media. I post every single day. I'm not posting on YouTube. The links on my social media are on my description below. As always, please like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe or I will delete your Love Nikki account. I I will see you next time.